This is Channel 3 News at 5. Good afternoon. Pensacola police looking for a killer. They believe 39-year-old Kenan Farrell gunned down a woman at a fitness club early this morning. Now, police this afternoon identified the victim as Carla Williams, a woman who was a mentor to many children in school and in sports. Now, records from the Escambia County Clerk of Court website indicate Farrell and Williams had a domestic violence hearing scheduled in court for June 1st. Williams was charged in February with domestic battery by strangulation and he has domestic violence related cases that date back uh, to 2018, even some in 2010, although we're not sure it involves the same woman. Now, just before 4.30 this morning, police say Farrow walked into Pensacola Fitness on 9th Avenue and shot Williams several times. We've got team coverage, beginning with Tanner Stewart, who is live outside Pensacola Fitness now. Tanner? Bob, we've seen about a dozen gym goers today alone just come through asking about what happened, looking to go in. And if you don't know, the gym is closed for today until further notice. And we don't know, Bob, whether Kenan Farrell was a member of this gym or if he just gained access through walking right past the desk. But what we know about the victim, Carla Williams, she was a dedicated math teacher focused on solving the difficult problems. 6933 North 9th Avenue. Pensacola police responded to Pensacola Fitness within minutes after getting the call just before 4.30 Tuesday morning. Scene is now secure, got one victim, female. PPD tell us the victim, Carla Williams, was targeted during an early morning workout. Just hours ago, PPD released information on Kenan Farrow, wanted for first degree premeditated murder. Our crews captured this SWAT presence surrounding Farrow's home Monday afternoon. He may be traveling in a great Mercedes Benz. Friends and family tell Channel 3 that the victim, Williams, was an associate math professor and former basketball star at Pensacola State College. Community leaders tell me this latest shooting is another example of senseless violence across Escambia County. The past week has been traumatic on our community. The senseless acts of violence uh, just has really hit home because there are people that I personally know. Uh, and so uh, we really hear uh, you know, in District 3 here at SYSA, I mean, we're sad. The climate, uh, uh, the ag aggressiveness of, of, of violence uh, that has propelled uh, here recently, it, it's sad. It's a, it's a sad day in, a, in Escambia County uh, for these senseless acts of violence. Commissioner Lumen May knew Williams on a personal level, having coached with her through the Southern Youth Sports Association. And I know that the hearts are broken at Pensacola State. Uh, they're broken within the ranks of those of us who participate in girl athletics and girls basketball. She was a fixture in our community for helping children. The gym owner declined to comment, instead sending Channel 3 this statement, reading in part, we're deeply saddened by the events that unfolded today. We lost a beloved member tragically by a domestic dispute turned violent. We're so thankful for the prompt actions in support of Pensacola police. Please keep the friends and family of the victims in your thoughts and prayers. Pensacola State College has also sent us a statement regarding Carla Williams offering their deepest condolences and also offering counseling services for any students or staff members at PSC who need this. Now, also part of that statement from Planet, or excuse me, Pensacola Fitness is a number to the Nas National Domestic Abuse Hotline. You can find all that, including that statement from PSC on our website. Reporting live just outside Pensacola Fitness, I'm Tanner Stewart. 